Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. All right, let's talk about masturbation for male anatomy. Okay, lots of questions. This is the first of many. Okay, I combine two questions here. One, does excessive masturbation stunt penis growth? Two, does it make your penis bigger? No and no. Doesn't affect penis size, so masturbate or don't, but it's not going to impact your penis size. So, question number two. I masturbate five to six times a week and use baby oil. In many cases, it becomes too sensitive and the skin gets slightly damaged. Is that normal? Am I masturbating too often? What would you recommend? So, it's tough to say exactly. Masturbating five to six times a week from just a number standpoint is totally fine. But what I would say is that everyone's a little bit different. Your skin may actually be a little too sensitive for that baby oil or might have an allergy to the baby oil, I would actually try a different type of lube um, or in the shower. Now, that being said, if you already are having some chafing or penis problems, you can apply a triple antibiotic ointment to help things kind of heal over. If the redness gets worse or if you notice any pus or tenderness, then you probably want to see a doctor. But for the time being, if you just apply a little triple antibiotic ointment to those areas that are irritated, that can help it heal. And then try switching up to a different type of lube, either Vaseline or olive oil or lube. They can all be better alternatives than baby oil if you're potentially allergic or have a little bit of a sensitivity to baby oil. So just switch it up. Um, question number three. What if a guy can never finish during sex? Does too much masturbation affect that? Or could there be something wrong? Okay, so from a too much masturbation not being able to finish with sex standpoint, um, generally no. Uh, masturbation, as we've discussed in other videos, you know your body well and when things feel really good, it's very easy to masturbate and orgasm. But when you're with a partner, finding those pleasure spots can be a little bit more difficult and more difficult to hit. So from that perspective, I would just play around with different positions and some foreplay. But I do want to speak to masturbating too much. And it's not a certain number. There's no right or wrong number of times to masturbate. But if you do find that it's interfering with intimacy and your ability to even get turned on with someone else, then that might be a sign that you are having a bit of a problem with masturbation. But if you're able to get it up and just having a hard time achieving orgasm, I would play around and try different positions. There's no direct link between too much masturbation and not being able to orgasm with someone else unless it's, again, interfering with your mentality when it comes to intimacy. Question number four. Does masturbating affect testosterone levels? So studies to date have shown that holding off on masturbating or abstaining from masturbation for a period of a few days can transiently or short term increase testosterone levels, but then they level out with testosterone levels of people who masturbate regularly. So what we know as of right now is that there's a brief surge in testosterone levels when you don't masturbate for a couple of days and then those levels come return to normal or what someone who masturbates regularly would have. So to answer your question, short term, yes, long term, no. Effect on testosterone. Question number five. This might seem dramatic or unreal, but I use masturbation as a coping mechanism. However, when it comes to having sex, I can't finish at all. Also, for two years I've been on antidepressants, and I'm not sure if that has anything to do with what I'm dealing with right now. So, 
I want to talk about mental health and orgasm. First, what we know about masturbation is that it can actually provide anxiety relief and there is nothing wrong with you using masturbation as a calming or coping technique. That's okay. We know that self-pleasure releases endorphins and that can make us feel good. So if that's what you're using it for, then that's okay and you shouldn't feel guilty about that. But, and this is great that you got some help for any sort of depression that you're experiencing. Um, we also know that antidepressants can sometimes affect someone's ability to orgasm. And so if you found that you're having a hard time orgasming with a partner while you're on antidepressants, it's possible that that antidepressant is having an impact, in which case it might be worth talking to your doctor about trying a different antidepressant because there are different antidepressants that affect ability to orgasm a little bit differently. It could also be that you are just having the experience of some of the other people that I've already answered questions from on this episode, that you know how to pleasure yourself very well, and when it comes to a partner, you can't always hit those pleasure spots as easily. And so, as I recommended with the other folks, experiment with foreplay and see if you can build things up a little bit before you insert the penis. But again, I think it's wonderful that you got help for mental health, and sometimes there's a bit of a mixed relationship with mental health and ability to orgasm. But if you're comfortable, I know you're kind of young, but talk to your doctor about these things. There are other options for sure. But mental health is important, as I've said before, and so is self-pleasure. So that'll do it for this round of masturbation questions for male anatomy. I've got thousands more. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net. 